what up YouTube I'm making this little video you know somebody slid in my Instagram you know somebody that I look up to as a cannabis enthusiast a cannabis user but finding out that it was all fake you know like just yesterday everything was cool me and this person we follow each other I've been following him I've been subscribing to his YouTube channel and all that I just repost something about the the dairy cow industry the dairy cow industry how the animals cows are being treated being abused being like the cows are getting their ass kicked and being like getting abused like black people as slaves except the cows and the animals aren't going to a cotton field they're going to a slaughterhouse they're not going to go pick cotton they're going to a slaughterhouse and die I just don't, I don't fuck with the, um, I don't eat meat. I don't eat meat. I don't eat fish. I stopped doing that last time I had, like, fish and sh shrimp and stuff was, like, 2020. That's what happens when that man, he, he, he went all the way back to 2020. The only one that commented on my Instagram post of a picture of... It, it was actually an orange smoothie. But the way he... He had to find one thing. He had to find something on me. Like, oh, I got to go back to 2020. Oh, you, have, you had bread. I had a slice of bread. Oh, it has meat in it. Oh, you had, you had that orange juice. Oh, it has meat particles in it. Like, bro, you supposed to be a, a cannabis stoner. We supposed to be a cannabis, like, family... You know, I'm a stage four cancer lymphoma survivor. Like, bro, you coming at me sideways. Like, you ain't never, we ain't, we ain't never had no wake up in, wake up in the morning, comment some negative shit. It just came out the blue today. And before I could even reply to his comment, he blocked me. I'm like, okay, thank. We both did each other a favor. So since he blocked me on Instagram, I had to leave a long post to his YouTube channel. Let him know, hey man, you didn't have to block me. Like, you, we could have a conversation. You know, I didn't know like you was gonna be a male Karen because you're the only one that's saying I'm bashing everybody on the way. I'm not bashing nobody. I didn't know a repost of the dairy industry is bashing anybody it's not like i'm on instagram social media saying oh you you, you eat this you're ew, you're trash i don't bash nobody man i got cannabis i got family in my own family i got family members that still eat meat chicken and stuff like that i'm not bashing them but i will educate i will definitely educate i will show them this I will definitely show him this Dr. Sebi Eat to Live because Eat to Live Not to Die because I was following um, I was doing this Eat to Live Not to Die like with this one you eat one meal a day like one meal a day with this you can have whatever you want basically not everything you want, but it has to be on the list. That's alkaline. It has to be alkaline is everything that is grown from Mother Nature. If it if it wasn't grown out of the ground from Mother Nature, leave it alone, man. That's why people constantly get sick because it did not come from Mother Nature. Mother Nature does not make starch. Man makes starch. Man may make starch and stuff. So I'm here making my little quinoa. You know. Make it a little quinoa. Uh, got, got my little food processor. You know, I'm about to start blending and making, you know. Uh, so, yeah, so let's... I'm still going to continue because I said on my Instagram post, I'm still going to make this big, nice, alkaline plate. As soon as that somebody wants to throw hate and be like, oh, you had meat. 
You had a piece of bread that had meat in it. You had orange, like I can't, you telling me I can't peel an orange. You telling me I can't peel an orange. Get all the grime stuff off of it. Slice it in pieces. Put it in the put it in the freezer. Let it freeze till it gets solid. When I solid, when it turns into solid, I put it in a smoothie blender. I put I had what pineapple? Frozen oranges, mango, a guave. Just because I put hashtag orange and hashtag juice and hashtag pineapple hash and it still had juice, he went off on, oh, you had orange juice. You had orange juice. It has animal products in it. So he had to go all the way back to 2020, and it's 2022 now. That's a fucking Karen to me, man. You was fucking fake. You fake as hell, man. But I'm still going to eat this alcohol. I'm still going to spread Dr. Sevy word. I'm still going to show you how this shit is done, bro. If you don't want to eat alkaline, that's you, man. I ain't judging you. I don't make videos about judging people. I don't. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But all I could do is just show you what I'm going to do. You know, because you, you're talking to a person that survived stage 4 lymphoma cancer. Not everybody going to survive stage 4. Not 3, not 2. I went straight to stage four. That's a 50-50 chance I'll survive cancer. 50-50 chance you'll die. So, so it's already been going on six minutes and 50 something seconds. So we're just gonna get straight to the cooking the food, all right? Boom, you see it. Got the cooked chickpeas with the avocado. About to add some onion powder to it right about now. Yeah. Put like a nice little teaspoon of onion powder. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna turn this is gonna be your hummus. So I want y'all to remember that. Chickpeas is your hummus. Instead of going to the store and buying the hummus out the container, you make it yourself at home. Then boom, we come over here. You got your quinoa. Boom. Then I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna make some onions, chop up some onions. Some red onions. Let me be straight with that one. Red onions, put it in here. Boom. Then you just scrape the sides to make sure you get everything, all your foods off the sides and stuff. Then you're gonna blend it again because you're gonna turn this into hummus. Boom, that's done, you know. Take it up top. I don't want it. Oh, you know son, that's homemade hummus right there. You know what Next is we're going to use the mushrooms, right? Boom. So in order for you to use the mushrooms and cook with the mushrooms in a skillet, you know, you're going to have to use the cook. You cook with grapeseed oil. You don't cook your food in olive oil. You don't cook your food in vegetable oil. You don't cook your food in coconut oil. You cook your food in grapeseed oil, avocado oil, sesame oil, but mostly grapeseed oil though. So I add some key lime into this to give it that little, oh, uh, I hand squeeze it. I don't have the presser. There you go, add a little key lime, a little, the little lime instead of the lemon, because the lemon has no, no nutrients. Look at it. And I put a little cayenne pepper, you see that little, 
Put a little cayenne pepper in there. All you need was add another key lime in there. Oh, a little squeeze in there. And I got the mushrooms. Got the mushrooms inside the grape seed. So next will be the red onions. You know, about to chop those up and grill them. See, chopped up one whole onion. Oh my gosh! You see how you see how the plate is coming along? Got the hummus, got the quinoa, got the mushrooms. About to put the chopped onions into the grapeseed oil and I'm gonna season them up. Come on man. Oh grilled chopped red onions, you know. Alkaline and the grapeseed oil. Next will be the cucumber. Slice this baby up in slices with the food processor. Okay. Cucumber seasoned with the onion powder. Once again, grape seed oil. Very, very thin slices. You know what I'm saying? All of it's coming together. I'm gonna say it's a beautiful, a beautiful plate right here, colorful. Then I got some zucchini, which I already done put in here, so it's gonna be just like the cucumber, but it's gonna be zucchini with a little bit of zucchini shredded. All alkaline. Thank you, Dr. Sabby. <laughs> I'm saying complete, man. It took a long time to complete it, but I did it. Got the zucchini with the cayenne pepper with the onion, cucumber, onions, parsley, red onion, mushroom, no shiitake, chickpeas made into hummus with avocado, and the quinoa. Everything is. Mm. Oh, how to eat this right here? I'm saying the wrong food brings you, you know what I'm saying, instant satisfaction and long term problems. That were problems, you know what I'm saying? An angry heart devours its owner. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not an alkaline plate without the tomatoes. This is so beautiful. It smells good. Eat to live, not to die. Thank you, Dr. Sebi. Can't believe they killed you over this. Like, it tastes better if you mix it all together. If you mix everything together, the tomatoes, the the hummus, the quinoa, the mushrooms, the zucchini, the cucumber, the, the red onions, all together, all seasoned with Kanye pepper, onion powder. Cooked in grapeseed oil. This is so alkaline. This is still going to fill you up. All Mother Nature. All Mother Nature. This is all not starch. No acid in here. Thank you for watching, you know. You know what I'm saying? It's like. It's so delicious. Look at that. Look, look, look. All that. 
See, that's a cucumber right there. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. All you gotta do is season it. And you good. Mmm. 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 All right, thank y'all for watching, man. You know what I'm saying? I talked a bad day into a good day. Somebody trying to stop my reign. You know? My first hater. My first hater in 2022. You know what I'm saying? I must be doing something correct. I must be doing something right. In order for you to just try to stop me and spread lies and all that, man. Like, take care of your body, man. Take care of your health, man. Put down the alcohol, man. Get you a smoothie, man. You know what I'm saying? That alcohol is just going to mess up your organs. <laughs> you're not getting anything nutrition. You're not. You're just toxic. Putting toxic poison in your body, man. And I just want you. I just want everyone to live. I just want everybody to be healthy. I just want everyone to not be constantly going to funerals, you know. If me caring about your health is bashing and talking shit and me post reposting stories about dairy farms and slaughterhouse and I care about your health and I want you to eat good, live good, you know what I'm saying? I'm passing it on to all people, all ethnicities, man. Dr. Sebi's the truth, man. I might make a I might make a strawberry cheesecake. Stay tuned, man. All alkaline strawberry cheesecake coming soon. Boom! I already said it. Thank you and have a nice day.